Conference of Team Ireland. Welcome to you, uh, Head Coach Sean Dancer and Catherine Moe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, welcome everyone to the press conference of Team Ireland. Uh, welcome to the head coach, Sean Dancer, and Catherine Mullen, captain. Um, yeah, welcome over here. And please, can you tell me, uh, when did you arrive here and how was your stay until now? Yeah, we arrived on Monday. Uh, we've had a fantastic time until now. It's been uh, sun shining most of the time since we arrived. Uh, and we've been on the pitch every day. The pitch is playing really well. And uh, the closer we get to the tournament, the you know, the more billboards and flags and stuff are up for the tournament. So it's really exciting and we're ready to start now tomorrow. Yeah, the pitch is quite new. It's brand new, actually. Uh, what do you think of uh, playing on uh, on it? Yeah, I think it plays fantastically. Um, there's nice, lively bounce off it, which we're looking forward to, to playing on. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's set up for, for a tournament, which is which is great to see. And how have you been preparing for the World Cup? Uh, so we've played a lot of games against Japan. We've played them eight times in the last couple of weeks. Um, and previous to that, we had a trip to Holland. Um, we played the, the senior team and the under-21 team, and we've also played some games against Scotland. So we've had a busy couple of months um, along on top of all of our training, so it's been good. <laughs> uh, the last World Cup in London, you won a silver medal, which was an excellent <laughs> achievement, of course. Uh, what is your goal during this edition of the World Cup? Yeah, I think we just want to take every game as it comes. That's exactly the mentality we took at the last World Cup. Uh, we have a really exciting group um, and the goal for us initially is to get out of the group and then after that we know that it's uh, business time and anything can happen. So um, we want to definitely get some points off Chile and then um, see what position we're in going into the last game of the group. Great. So what are your expectations of uh, the stage after the pool phase? Yeah, well, I think, um, as I say, anything is possible then and uh, we'll prepare for whichever opposition we come up against at that stage. But for us, it's mostly about performance. Um, we've grown a lot as a team over the last couple of months. We have a lot of young, exciting players. We have four players getting their first caps tomorrow, which is very exciting for us and for those girls. And I'm really excited for them to show what they're capable of on the world stage. Um, and yeah, performance is key for us. So we'll just be focusing for, on one game at a time. Um, yeah, so the tournament will start on Saturday with a match against the Netherlands. Are you ready? Yeah, I think we're as ready as we're ever going to be to play against, you know, the best team in the world. It's such a privilege and an honor to play in that opening game here in Amsterdam. It's going to be very exciting. It's going to be a packed out stadium. And um, we know we're the underdogs, but we have a fighting Irish spirit. And um, I think you'll see that on the pitch tomorrow night evening. I think so, too. Um, is everyone fit to play? <laughs> yeah, better, uh, better answer something. Katie's uh, done a great job so far. Look, uh, everybody's really fit and, and ready to go. And, and obviously, sometimes you have a few little niggles leading into to any tournament. But uh, we're really happy with where everyone's at. And, and everybody's 100% ready to go for tomorrow. Sounds good. I'm just going to check the chat of the YouTube feed if there's any questions. Uh, who are your biggest rivals in Pool A is a question. Yeah, look, um, I suppose that's a quite an interesting one. Um, I think uh, obviously playing against Holland, world number one, you'd, you'd like to have a good rivalry against them. But I think uh, what matches up really nicely for us and certainly uh, being around the group for the last couple of years now, I think the German game. And I think uh, the girls have played a lot against Germany. And I think if we can get things right, it becomes very competitive. And when we sort of reflect back to Tokyo, our best game that we probably played was against Germany. And, and we certainly felt that we probably could have uh, got some points against them if things had gone our way. Thank you. I want to check again if there's any other questions. Yes, there are. Uh, are you eager to challenge yourself against the Olympic champions in the pool phase? 
Yeah, look, um, uh, no, no doubt that Holland are the best team in the world. And, I mean, we're really excited about playing tomorrow and certainly being in a full crowd as well. So for us, this is the pinnacle of, of what we're after. And we got to play Holland as well at the Olympics. So once again, just the opportunity to, to keep pushing and testing ourselves. And it is a new group and it will be a bit nervous for a few of us, uh, for a few of them out there uh, tomorrow night. But look, it's a really good test for us. And we're really excited about the opportunity and, and uh, a lot of the pressure will actually be on Holland because we've got nothing to lose. <laughs> well said. <laughs> uh, no more questions in the in the chat. I have one more. You have a great fan base also here in the Netherlands. The stands are always filled. Uh, do you have a message for them? Yeah, uh, yeah just be as loud and as green as you've ever been before. <laughs> um, we have such an amazing uh, fan following and um, we always have and we often feel like there's almost more players on the pitch whenever we have that really good good crowd so yeah shout louder than ever before and sing the anthem loud and proud sounds like a plan thank you very much thank you and good luck